Well, good morning, boys and girls. I'm so glad that you decided to join on Sunday School today. Last week, we learned about a few really terrible kings of Israel. Israel has split in two. Israel was in the north and Judah was in the south. And there were some kings who were really terrible. They didn't, dis they didn't obey God at all. They just disobeyed God completely. Today, you learn about one king who did obey God and was truly sorry about how the Israelites had behaved towards God. And we will look at this king, firstly, from 2 Kings chapter 22, verse 1 to 2. 2 Kings chapter 22, verse 1 to 2. Lots of twos there. And of course, boys and girls, this is from the Bible. Very special. God speaking to us. We hear God's voice every single time we open our Bibles. But let's hear who this King Josiah was. Josiah was eight years old, very young, when he became king. He ruled in Jerusalem for 31 years. Josiah did what was right in the eyes of the Lord. He lived the way King David had lived. He didn't turn away from it to the right or to the left. Now we will still read further in the same chapter from verse 11 to verse 13 of 2 Kings 22. The king, and this is King Josiah, heard the words of the book of the law. When he did, he tore his royal robes. He gave orders to Hilkiah the priest, Ahikam, Akbor, Shephan the secretary, and Asaiah. And Asaiah was the king's attendant. Josiah commanded them, Go, ask the Lord for advice. Ask him about what is written in this book that has been found. Do it for me, also do it for the people and the whole nation of Judah. The Lord is very angry with us. That's because our people who have lived before us didn't obey the words of this book. They didn't do everything written there about us. Now we will read out of 2 Kings 23 verse 1 to 3. Then the king called together all the elders of Judah and Jerusalem. He went up to the Lord's temple. The people of Judah and Jerusalem went with him. So did the priests and prophets. All of them went, from the least important of them to the most important. The king had all the words of the book of the covenant read to them. The book had been found in the Lord's temple. The king stood next to his pillar. He agreed to the terms of the covenant in front of the Lord. The king promised to serve the Lord and to obey his commands, directions and rules. He promised to obey them with all his heart and with all his soul. So he agreed to the terms of the covenant written down in that book. Then all the people committed themselves to the covenant as well. So boys and girls, as you can see, the book of the law, which had all the commandments in of how the people were to relate to God, it, had, it hadn't been open for a while, obviously, as it was in the temple and it was found there and was kind of a surprise. But boys and girls, this King Josiah hears the law of God and he realizes that the Israelites have been sinning terribly against God, that have, they have been disobeying God, they haven't been worshipping God, and they have been running after other gods. They have been disobedient to God as well. And boys and girls, this king repents of what the Israelites have 
done. Repents literally means making a 180 actually a degree turn to the other side. Stop doing something that you were doing. Turn and do something else. Promising to never wanting to go back to that. And boys and girls, as we've seen with all the kings of Israel, even those who have been obedient at times, is that they sin. They still sin, as we do every day. But the difference is repentance. Being sorry for the sin that you have done and going in another direction completely, not wanting to go back to that sin again. Turning a new page, recommitting, as we see here, King Josiah did, he recommitted himself to God. He agreed that he will keep the Lord's covenant. And boys and girls, that's what we need to do as well. We will sin every single day, but it's important that we repent of our sin, that we ask God's forgiveness. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. Let's close our eyes in prayer, boys and girls. Lord Jesus, we are so sorry for the times that we disobey you, that we are sinful. Please help us not to do those sins again, but to repent from them. Lord, please forgive us for the sins that we have done, that we did knowingly, but also for the sins that we do, that we are not aware of. Please make us aware of them so that we may repent of them. We ask all of this in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Boys and girls, that's our lesson for today. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I'll see you next week. Bye.